to the gentleman from Wisconsin, Mr. Pocan, for five minutes. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, as of today, Congress has less than three weeks to reach an agreement on government funding before the September 30th deadline. If we cannot complete this fundamental task, the one thing we have to do as members of Congress, we risk shutting down the government, an outcome that would have devastating consequences for the American economy, American families, and our national security. So I wish I could stand here and talk about all the great bipartisan work that the House Appropriations Committee has been doing and reassure you that we are on track to fund the government on time. But unfortunately, that is far from reality. This year, House Republicans have abandoned bipartisanship and instead chose to draft some of the most extreme, partisan, and harmful legislation that I have ever seen. Their bills would enact devastating cuts that would jeopardize our children's education and futures, weaken our rural communities, increase costs for families, and leave our country less safe by directly cutting funds for necessary law enforcement. On top of this, they've packed these bills to the brim with extreme policy riders that have no chance of becoming law, including abortion bans and extremist discriminatory policy. We often say that your budget is a reflection of your values, and these shameful funding bills show that the Repu House Republicans are lacking many. It doesn't have to be this way. Over in the Senate, Democrats and Republicans have put together bipartisan funding bills, all of which have passed out of the Senate Appropriations Committee with overwhelming bipartisan support. House Republicans, however, are on an island of their own, seeking to jam their right-wing ideology down the throats of the American people or else subject them to a shutdown that will have devastating consequences. This would be the height of irresponsibility. It has become clear that the House Republicans do not have a plan. Faw impeachment is just a distraction. They do not have a strategy, and the chaos and confusion will come at a cost a government shutdown that the American people cannot afford. Republicans in the House need to do the right thing. Come to the table with Democrats in both parties in the Senate, and let's fund the government. It's not rocket science. It's just basic governance.